Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brenda Nicole. So today I'm going to be doing a vocabulary video for you guys on how to study Spanish vocabulary or any type of vocabulary for that matter, whether it's German, French, English, Japanese, whatever. Um, any language will work and you can do this with any type of language. So there's many ways to study vocabulary and I found that for me personally, the way that I'm going to show you guys today is what works best for me. Now, I still will tell you guys a few other ways that you can study vocabulary, so before I get into what I actually do, I'm going to let you guys know what you can do in addition to this or instead of doing what I'm going to show you just in case that doesn't work out. So, a lot of you guys know that you guys can make lists to study vocabulary, like English on one side and then your target language on the other. For me, I tried that and it didn't really work out. Um, one, I'm too lazy to write everything, and two... Um, it just didn't really stick with me for some reason. I don't know. I probably just didn't do it enough and I wasn't consistent enough for things to actually, for me to actually be able to retain the information. Um, and then the next thing that you guys can do to build your vocabulary or study vocabulary is by flashcards. Like I said, I never went and actually made actual hand by hand, like writing out flashcards um, because those didn't really help me either. Um, so I never really did those, but some people love doing flashcards, some people love doing the list where you can have it in English and also Spanish so you know both. Um, and I will say this before I even go further into the video, in my opinion, it's very important that as a language learner, you know the equivalent to a certain word or phrase or something like that um, in your target language but as well as your native language. So a lot of like polyglots or people who have successfully mastered learning another language or even their second or third language, they will usually say that it's not really that important <laughs> that you know um, that you're translating basically um, the words or phrases from your target language into your native language. I think it's very important, especially if you want to work as like an interpreter or a translator of some sort. It's very, very, very important that you know the words in both languages. And knowing the words in both languages isn't going to harm you in any way. Some people really think that possibly like translating into your head what the, the English equivalent would be is somehow like hurting. Um, or hindering your learning process, but it's really not um, because really in reality someone who's bilingual should be able to You know use both languages and know the equivalence to one phrase in one language into the other so um, It's very important at least I said to me to know both words or both phrases in both languages but Anyway, so moving on like I was saying or you guys the most like this is so simple um, but it's not actually studying vocabulary. So when I say study vocabulary, I am actually talking about studying. This actual way that I'm going to bring up now is not actually studying. But by reading, you guys will expand your vocabulary. I already have a video down, not down below, but I, I can link it down below in the description box. But it's about an app that allows you guys to read short articles about whatever interests you in English and Spanish or Spanish and you can adjust the reading level and that will automatically help you gain and, and develop um, vocabulary in a more natural way instead of studying like a list of some sort um, but like I said not everyone likes to read which is understandable I'm one of those people I don't like to read um, but it is you know important to read something um, daily in Spanish or your target language but with that being said um, the ways that I just discussed are not really what works best for me. So the next thing that I'm going to talk about is the way that I currently use, that I have been using since probably high school that has really, really helped me not only memorize, but retain the vocabulary that I know. And that is Quizlet. If you guys don't know what Quizlet is, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Quizlet has been my best friend especially since I've been in college it has really been my best friend but it is great for vocabulary because you can have your English word and then your Spanish word or whatever your target language is and you can easily memorize it so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys and I'm screen recording this so you guys can actually see like what I'm doing so I have multiple folders in multiple sets <laughs> Um, because I was like really really set on learning vocabulary so I decided to make 
a folder and a set for like literally everything. So if I go to like La Vida Diaria, um, I have four sets in these. Like I have like insects, automobiles, like a whole bunch of stuff in here. But if I click on La Vida Diaria, I can study this set. And I think it's cool because there's different ways that you can study Quizlet. For instance, you can do Learn, which basically is like, you know, you write the word by chance. So it's asking you to say what it is in Spanish, which I think is like por casualidad or something like that. Um, and I haven't done this in a while, so I'm probably going to get this wrong. Oh, so I was correct. So also I don't have the volume up, <laughs> but usually um, they will say what the word is. I don't know if it does it in English or Spanish. Um, or maybe it doesn't say anything. Let's see. So I think Lonnie. you have to have the audio. Ah, uh, okay. So. To be in the habit of. It just repeats the word that you have presented in the card. I thought I was going to do like the Spanish, but to be in the habit of like, um, I've completely forgot so what that is. Long oh, I was feature. right. Okay, so <laughs> that's one way to do this on Quizlet. So the next thing are the flashcards. If you're like someone, um, no, if you're like someone, if you are someone who likes flashcards, but you don't actually feel like writing them out, this is a good way to actually do it because you have your Spanish word and then on the other side is your English or whatever your native language is. So completo, completa. It's like complete or completed. So, you know, if you know it, you can hit um, swipe it to the right. If you don't, you can swipe it to the left and it'll come up again so you can practice it. De pie, de, Dios mío, que yo no puedo hablar hoy. De, de pie, like to stand up, I think that is. Standing. So, you know, to the right, often. Menudo, I'm guessing. A menudo, okay. Sometimes, a veces, you know. So, um, for instance, like if there's a word that you don't know, you can look at it. Okay, that means rusty. Swipe it to the left, and then as you keep going, the cards that you swipe to the left will still be in the deck. And you can repeat them as many times as you want. The next thing is, I think this one is my favorite, yes, um, the writing one. So this allows me, personally, this is pretty much the only one that I really use because this allows me to write it out, which is going to help me know how to spell the word correctly, all of the accents and everything. And it's also going to help me memorize it because I'm typing it as I'm... Um, thinking of the word in my head like I don't know how to explain it but it just this really brings it all together for me so I'm just gonna um say that I don't know so if you don't know it it'll come up and you can see it and then it'll give you a chance to type it again so El Dia de San Valentin you know I see San Valentin tiene un okay so I was right so and then you can also do it in English as well so por casualidad is by chance so it allows you to practice both sides. So um, it's really like you can still say I was correct, um, but it really allows you to maintain information. This is something that a lot of people don't really use to their advantage. So that's why I'm sharing it with you guys. The next thing that you can do is match. So this is like a game. So if you're not really wanting to study seriously, you just want a quick little refresher, something that's quick, you can play a game and it gives you the cards and you just ma match them. So Hervir is Ceboyo, Ceboyo here, Supermercado is Supermarket, Right Away is Enseguida, Home, Fireplace, Al Hogar is Sometimes, A Veces, and to arrive late, Llegar, Regresado, or Retresado. And as you can see, um, it gives you your score. And if you're competitive against yourself, you can go again um, and see if you can do it even faster. But that also helps you retain vocabulary. And then the last thing that you can do on here is a test. And here you can set like your questions um, that you want, like how many you want, the question count. You can get instant feedback. Um, you can select what you want to answer with. So in my case, I want to answer with Spanish. And you can even choose your question type, so true or false, multiple choice, written, um, and all of that. So then you just click start test. So like on the spot, which I don't even know what that is. Um, and when you're doing a test, it won't tell you because it is a test. So to set clear the table, like I think that's like poner, quitar la mesa, like I don't know. <laughs> I'm just guessing right now, but um, you just submit it and... You 
yeah so you submit it when you're done with your test it will show you the grades that you got once you finish it not if you just exit out but this is a great way to study vocabulary and to retain it um, I plan on doing a video between memorizing the difference between memorizing vocabulary and actually retaining the information because a lot of people are good at memorizing but when it comes to retaining it's usually a struggle but I just wanted to show you guys um, Sorry, I thought that I was still screen recording, but I just wanted to show you guys a quick and easy way to study vocabulary. And it's on your phone, it's on, you know, whatever social media, not social media, whatever, like, electronic device that you want to use. So it's super, super convenient. You can do it in the car, while you're on your way somewhere. You can do it before bed, you know, laying, rolling over and studying vocab. You can do it first when you wake up, roll over, pick up your phone. Instead of checking Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, you can go on Quizlet and just study vocabulary for 10 minutes. So it's a good way to study vocabulary, but it's also very convenient and easy to access, which is why I'm sharing it with you guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I also hope that this really helps you guys out there who are learning languages, who maybe are having... Um, issues with re retaining and memorizing vocabulary so if this did help you guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video